Today you're going to learn how to remove glasses from any portrait image. So we're going to use a new tool called the content aware tool and one of the old tools called the clone stamp tool. So you're going to learn how to use both of these tools to remove glasses or any type of objects from any image on Photoshop. So if you like these types of videos make sure you hit that like button and if you have any questions you can comment down below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. And if you hit, haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I come out with videos daily. So let's get started. So usually people think that to do something like this, we're going to use the clone stamp tool. So if you don't know what the clone stamp tool is, it's this right here. And basically what this does is it takes a certain color or a certain part of an image and it covers it up on another part of the image. So let me show you quickly as an example. So if you choose the clone stamp tool and you, and you press alt, you can press any part of the image. So maybe like this part here, you click on that part and then you let go of alt and then you just keep painting like this. So what it's doing is it's taking this part here and it's painting it over here. And you can see it kind of took the nose part and it also painted painted that there. So you just keep going like that. Maybe now you want this part here to be here. And now you just keep going and going and, and eventually you'll just cover up the glasses. So this is the old way of doing it and it also takes up a little bit of time as well. But there's a new tool called a content aware tool and this is actually a better tool to use. So let me just undo all of that. And what I'm going to do is first label this image. I'm just going to label it, label it uh, original image. And I'm also going to create an extra copy of this layer. So if you don't see this layer panel, just go to Windows and click on Layers right here. So I'm going to create an extra copy of this original image layer by uh, holding and dragging it into the new Layers icon right here. So that creates an extra copy. So I like to keep an extra copy just in case we make a mistake. We can go back to the original image right here. So what we're going to do is create a new layer again. And this time I'm just going to call this uh, Glasses Outline. And I'm going to uh, go to the paintbrush tool and I'm going to choose a new brush. So this just needs to be a normal simple brush. Uh, just the thickness of the brush should be just about the thickness of the glasses or whatever it is that you're trying to hide. And I'm going to choose a black color. Doesn't really matter what color you choose as long as it's a color that you can see clearly. And make sure you have the glasses outline layer selected and we're just going to draw an outline around the glasses. So just like this, very simple to do. And I might actually even um, increase the, the hardness of the brush. So right now it says 0%, but if I increase it to, let's just say about 60%, you can see the edges are a bit more harder. It's a bit bigger now as well. So let's keep going all the way around. And then we're also gonna get this bit here as well. So you just need to go all the way around the glasses. So this doesn't take that long at all. So with the, uh, clone stamp tool this would take a while to click all the way around you have to click a different part of an image and then click into the glasses and then click another part of the image so that would actually take a while but with this tool it just gets it done really quick all you have to do is just draw a simple outline just like this and make sure you get all the glasses and I might even make sure that um, I don't get too much into her eyes so right now I think I'm going over her eyes a bit too much so what I'm going to do is lower the opacity of the glasses outline layer. Now I might actually rub out a bits, bits and pieces what I've, um, where I've drawn here. So I'm just going to take the eraser tool and I'm going to increase the hardness of the eraser brush. And I might even increase the size. Let me just rub out little bits there because I don't want to go ho over her eyes too much. There we go. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but we're basically just rubbing out parts of the outline that we made so we can see her eyes a bit more clearly. That looks good. Cool. So now what I'm going to do is just increase the opacity back up again. Let's just zoom out, see if we've done this right. Yep, that looks good enough. So now what I'm going to do is hold control and that's command if you're on a Mac. So if you're on a Mac, press command, but I'm on Windows, so I'm going to press control and I'm going to click on the glasses outline layer right here. So click on that little box. And what that does is it will select everything in that layer. So everything in that layer is the outline that we just created. So we have like a selection of the, the outline of the glasses. 
So now I'm just going to hide the glasses outline layer by clicking on this little eye icon. So now we can just have sel the selection of the glasses. And it doesn't have to be too accurate, you can go over and things like that. But um, as long as you have an outline, uh, the basic outline of whatever you're trying to hide, then that's good enough. So let's go back to the original image copy layer right here. And we're going to go to edit, fill. So that's edit, fill, and make sure you have content aware selected. And then watch what happens when I just click OK. The glasses just disappears. That's how easy it is to get rid of these glasses now. So now if I just deselect, you can see some rough edges here and there. So we need to get rid of that. But what we can do is just, I'm just going to zoom out again. And I'm going to make that selection again by pressing Control and clicking on the glasses outline. And I can do it again. And this will just keep getting better and better as I keep clicking on content on, on the Content Aware tool. So edit, fill, and make sure it's on Content Aware, and click on OK. And you just keep going, and it's going to only going to keep getting better and better. So edit, fill, click on again. So I'm not sure if you noticed that, but it did get a little bit better when we um, did it twice. So you can still see the outline of the glasses just there, but now you can use the, the clone stamp tool to make it better. Now. now it makes it a lot easier. So before, if you just started right away with the clone stamp tool, it would have been a lot harder to go through all of this. Now the content aware tool has just done most of it uh, automatically for you. So now let's use the uh, clone stamp tool now. So what I'm going to do is pick parts of the nose and nose areas and things like that to cover up these little outlines that we have. So let's, first, let's just start with this. So I'm going to press Alt and press around here, uh, maybe around here. And let's just get rid of that middle part of our nose. So that looks good. And maybe just around here as well, like those rough edges. It's perfect. And maybe just around here, there's some little rough edges here and there. And maybe around her arm. Uh, um, her hands as well. So this bit actually looks pretty good. I'm just gonna, there's like a bit of the shadow of the glasses still there. So let me just get rid of all of that. Cool, that looks good. And let's do her uh, hands as well, because you can see some parts of the glasses around her hands. And the hardest part, part is gonna be the eyes, but we'll get to that soon as well. Um, let's also do this bit here. Let's zoom in for this bit right here, because this one's probably gonna be a little bit tricky. So for this, I might actually um, decrease the size of the brush. What I'm going to do is take this little line here and just kind of draw it over this, this little bit right here. Cool. So that part is a little bit more tricky, but we can still get it done there. Yeah, so I think that looks good. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. So what else do we... Okay, so we need to do this side now. So let's go into the corn stamp tool. And we just need to stamp out all of this here. And maybe all of these bits here as well. And I might actually like continue this little outline that, that we kind of left out here. Oops, that's a bit too much. Let me just uh, decrease the size of the brush and I'll just do it over here like that. So I think that's a bit better. So now let's keep going with the eyes now. So this is probably the hardest part, but we can still get it done here. So let's zoom out a little bit. Let's go back to the clone stamp tool. And first I'm going to do her pupils here. So let's click over here and let's just draw an outline just like that. Oh, that looks a lot better now. And let's click over here. So I, all I'm doing is just pressing Alt, clicking on a certain part of the image, and I'm just taking that part of the image and I'm just repeating it. So if you make a mistake, just press Control Z to undo or Command Z if you're on a Mac. So you don't need to go keep going edit and un undo. That'll be quite annoying. So, oops. So let's keep trying this bit. So you need to kind of be patient with this bit right here because it's a little bit harder than the rest of the images. Um, let's do this bit right here as well. Looks good. Cool, so I think we got the eyes just right now. Cool. 
Ooh, I think that looks good now. Yep, so let's do this eye now. So we just need to get rid of those little rough edges. There's like little rough edges here and there. Just doesn't, just looks out of place. Uh, cool, that looks good there. So we got that nice outline there. There we go. So it looks good there. It's perfect. Alright, so let's get these bits here as well. And let's increase the brush size a little bit here. And I kind of want it to kind of fade in a bit here because it looks a bit too rough there. But I think it's should be good enough there so let's make sure that decrease the size of the brush and I'm going to copy this bit here and just stab that part out so let's zoom out and see what that looks like we can still edit a little bit more I think um, just just these little bit of the eyes part here but I'm not going to be too picky in this uh, video because I don't want this video to be too long but that's pretty much the basics of the content um, aware tool and the uh, clone stamp tool as well so let's zoom out, see what this looks like. So her nose looks a quite off. So this part right here. So let's zoom into into that and let's edit that bit, bit out as well. So what you can do here is you can just add some um, color over this. So what I might do is choose like a skin color from her. Just choose the color picker tool. Just double click here and click anywhere around her nose or the part where you're trying to cover up and pick up a color from there. So this color right here. Let's hit OK. And I'm just going to choose the paintbrush tool. Make sure the hardness is uh, quite low. And I'm just going to paint over it. And I'm just going to lower the opacity on it as well. So let's just zoom out so you can actually see it a bit more clearly. Just looks a bit off right now as well. So then you can also take the razor tool, simply just erase part and just kind of shape out her nose a little bit there. So I don't want that to be too off. You can also do that on the other side as well, like here. And then just take the eraser tool and just simply just shape it out. Because it's a lot harder to kind of see what's underneath it when you kind of rub it out with the glasses. So that looks this looks much better than before. I don't think her nose needs to be too symmetrical, but I think that's pretty much done. So that looks pretty good to me. So before we had this and we just completely got rid of the glasses. So that's pretty much how you use the content aware tool and the um, uh, clone stamp tool to get rid of objects from images. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, I come out with videos daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload a video. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below. But that's it for this video and I'll see you on the next one.